things in our own life. Uh, but we are also human beings. And this is the kind of a time when all of us as human beings share with you uh, our feelings here. You've heard the story all morning long about Jim's death, and Jim will always be a part of us here, not only on this set in the newsroom, but to be a part of everyone at the Delaware Valley. It's extremely difficult for me to present a weather cast because I guess this is the first use of this board in this facility since Jim used it on Friday night. He'll always be a part of me and uh, I can only express my appreciation for him uh, sharing, allowing me to, to share part of his, his weather world and his smile and his laugh. So with that, let us attempt to present the weather for you. Probably realized by now, this is without a doubt the most difficult work day for all of us here at Action News. When you lose someone close to you, I guess it's just natural to, in the midst of your grief, think about all the good times. After I learned of Jim's death, it was the good times I reflected on, and there were many between Jim and me. When I first arrived at Channel 6 five years ago, I co-anchored the new news with Jim O'Brien. I can remember thinking initially, what a, what a crazy guy. Indeed, I had never worked with, or met for that matter, anybody quite like him. It was his unique brand of humor and his quick wit that I first came to admire. But I soon came to respect his depth and tremendous wealth of knowledge. It was almost as if there wasn't a subject that Jim O'Brien didn't know something about. Well, of course, those were the very early days in my career. One of the reasons I'm able to get through this is because of Jim O'Brien. He took me under his wing. He did that, of course, for a lot of people. But I think the thing that I respected and loved most about Jim O'Brien was his tendency to speak honestly and openly. Sometimes he stepped on a few toes, but he always spoke what was on his mind, what he truly believed needed to be said. He was the type of guy who had the guts to say what everybody else was thinking. So many things have been said about him since yesterday. A consummate professional, most effective communicator, incredibly talented, intense, driven, funny, special. Jim O'Brien was all of those things and more. His death has left a tremendous void in my life, as I am sure it has in many of yours. Okay, then. That's it for Action News at noon. The entire Action News team will return tonight at 5, 5.30, and 6 with much more on the life and the death of our friend and co-worker Jim O'Brien. And we'll have a special half-hour report tonight at 8 o'clock following the mayoral debate on the career and the lasting impact of the Delaware Valley's most popular personality. For now, though, for Lisa Thomas-Laurie, Dave Roberts, and the entire Action News team, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all your calls of sympathy and condolences. And we'll see you tonight at 5. <laughs>